everyone, welcome back to yet another video. I am Tudupuka for those that are new to this channel. On this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this easy protective hairstyle. It's a folks afro bun. Like, would you really tell that this is in my hair? Because I wouldn't. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button as well as the notification button to be notified every time I post a new video. And without talking too much, let's get straight into this video. The tools that I'm going to be using is this comb as well as this hair tie that I cut off old stockings. My hair is already combed so I'm going to use my hands to move my hair around to create that bun so I'm busy moving my hair up just to make sure that when I tie it down it lays flat and also it's there in a bun. I take that hair tie and then I put it around my hair. I'm going to push it at the back just to make sure that it creates a tight bun in front. After I get it into the right position for me to pull the string, I'm just going to pull that string up until the hair is tight enough for me to have that sleek bun. After my hair is tight enough, I'm going to move that excess of the hair tie around my head and then I'm going to tuck it into my hair. When I've tied my hair up, I'm just going to take sections of my hair at the bun on top and I'm going to twist them and pin them down with some hair clips. You can see that I'm twisting it and then I round it around my hair and pin it down with some hair clips. This will protect your hair with not tangling with the extensions. So when I'm done, I'll just brush around the edges just to make my hair neat. I'm just going to use that comb just to brush my hair just carefully without any force. So for the hair extensions that I'm going to be using, it's the Sublime New Golden Collection Super Kinky Plus Hair Extensions. I've used these extensions in a previous video, I'll just link it above. You can see that the hair is super kinky and it's textured like kinky hair. I'm going to separate the hair to get as much as I need for my bun. I think I'll go for about half of the pack because I do not want the bun to be too big. I want it to look realistic and also to just look natural. After that, I'm going to take this hair tie and put it around the middle of this um, extensions. And I'm going to make a hair tie that we can use to tie it against my real hair. So this will be our attachment for the hair. So now I'm going to comb out the extensions just to take out any knots that could be there and also just to make the um, extensions look natural and also fuller. 
you can see all the knots at the bottom of the extensions which I'm gonna use my scissors to cut off when we are done cutting off that hair it's going to look neat and it's going to look full like an afro as you can see now Pull out any excess hair that might be in the hair after cutting it and then there you have your afro, just cut off any excess hair. And then when I am done, I'm going to use that attachment to tie that those extensions onto my hair. When there is not room for it to go around my hair anymore, I'm just going to twist it around and then I'll use a hair clip just to clip it down. So now that we have these extensions attached to my hair, I'm going to move those extensions around to create a bun. So I'm moving it around my hair and then when I have it in perfect position, I'm just going to clip it down. As you can see, both of those sections that I had with the extension, I took them in the opposite directions just to make sure that my real hair is covered underneath the spun and nothing is showing underneath. You're also going to make sure to clip down any fly aways if there are on the top of your hair. You just use a hair clip just to pin that hair down to make sure it's neat and tidy. When I am done pinning everything down, I'm going to pull the hair and make it a bit messy and pull the hair just to make it look more natural and also to have volume and a bit of texture. I'm then going to use my scissors to cut off any flyaways and also split ends that might be on the bun. Now I am done and this is optional, I'm going to use Aunt Jackie's edge control and I'm going to just do my edges and then I'm going to use a satin scarf to lay down those edges. So this is going to just be 5 minutes of me laying my edges and I'll be back in 5 minutes. So now that I'm done with whatever I was doing, I just take off that satin scarf and you can see now we have our folks afro bun. It is looking great, it is looking natural and it also matches with our natural hair. So you made it this far thank you for watching the whole video do not forget to leave a comment below on anything you'd like me to post on my youtube channel and also any messages that you'd like to leave for me below because i do read all the messages i'll see you on the next video guys goodbye